Use the knot out of the cross ball. We're going to work out the bottoms of your feet. Whoa. So just spending about a minute on each foot, slowly sinking your weight into the ball from just in front of your heel to just behind your toes. So just working out that area. And again, really sinking your weight into it. And believe it or not, this is going to help you improve your groin and your hamstring mobility. This is going to help loosen all of the fascia, all of the muscle soft tissue on the back side of your body. So that means deeper forward folds, deeper lunges, deeper squats, um, deeper groin stretches. So just take about a minute on each side, move nice and slowly. Sinking into whatever tension you can find beneath your foot. And then when you're ready, go ahead and switch sides. Keep in mind, tension might be different in one foot or the other. Your job is to kind of explore the bottom of your foot and find wherever tension may be. And again, about a minute here as well. And if you find a spot that's got a lot of tension, just hang out on it. You don't have to move. And if your whole foot has tons of tension, then maybe you want to do this for a little bit longer. That's fine. Just press pause. All right, last little bit, last 10 seconds here. All right, good. All right, go ahead and take that away. Nice job. And we're going to move into, actually, onto your back. You're going to warm up your hips, warm up your spine. Go ahead and start with your knees over your hips. Press your hands into your thighs. Squeeze your knees toward one another. Just 20 seconds here. Getting your legs warmed up. Maybe squeezing your thighs toward one another. Just about 10 more seconds. So we've got core, hip flexors, and inner thighs engaged right now. Good, now bring your legs straight out. Drive your heels forward. If you need to, you can bring your legs up higher if you feel pain in your back. But we wanna be able to get our feet about six inches or a foot off the ground. You might need more warm up for this and that's okay. So if you feel like you need a little bit more warm up, you can try bending your knees or bringing your legs up higher or just doing hands to thighs again. 10 more seconds. Warming up your core, squeezing the thighs together. All right, and then bring your knees back in. Plant your feet, come up into a bridge. Squeeze your thighs toward one another. Reach your tailbone toward your knees. You wanna feel your abs engaged just like you would for a plank. Glutes are engaged, your thighs are engaged. Arms can be along your sides or overhead like you see me doing here. And again, really squeeze your glutes here, drive your hips up, but keep your abs tight to protect your back. Make sure your knees and your inner thighs are squeezing toward one another. 30 more seconds here. All right, and one leg out. Just 10 seconds. Really drive down through your left heel. Squeeze the left hip in and up. And switch right leg down, left leg out. Squeeze the right hip in and lift up. Hips stay level. And then plant your foot. Bring your hips all the way down. Bring your knees in toward your chest. Roll a little bit from side to side. And then go ahead and flip over into a child's pose. 
So knees are wide, big toes touch, arms out in front of you, forehead relaxed on the ground. We're gonna work on core engagement here. So you wanna bring your butt back toward your heels. Try to pull your ribs in toward one another so your back is flat and neutral. And then try to lift your arms away from the ground to engage your upper back. Three deep breaths here. And think of this not as a stretch, but think of this as a muscle activation for your upper back, your thighs, and your abs. And if you do that, you'll feel stretches in all the right places too. So you'll get a groin stretch, you'll get a back stretch, and you'll get a shoulder stretch because you're engaging the upper back, your abs, and your thighs. Last breath. All right, go ahead and bring it up into a tabletop and into cat cow. So we're gonna work on your spinal mobility. Just get everything, work out any kinks left in your spine. Getting some nice extension through your neck and then exhaling to round your back tucking your chin, looking through your legs. Five more of those. Make sure you're lengthening through your upper back and your neck. And keeping your inhale and your exhale constant. So I'm gonna be a five or six, five or six second inhale. Matched with a five or six second exhale. Three more. Last one. All right, and then go ahead and stand up from here, going into a one leg balance to get everything warm. Stand on your right foot, bring your left knee up to hip level. Press down through your right heel, squeeze your right hip. Drive your left hand into your left knee and your left thigh back up into your hand. 30 seconds here. Really driving your knee up, maybe even above hip level here to get a little more activation. 10 more seconds. If you want to bring your right arm up as well, get your right arm and your shoulder and your back activated. Go for it. Last few seconds. And then relax, switch sides. Coming up onto your left leg, bring your right knee up. Press your right hand into your right thigh. Drive your thigh up as high as you can, even going above your hip level. Stand up tall, reach your left arm up and back if you wanna get that upper back activation. Squeeze your left hip, 30 seconds here as well. You should feel a bit of a stretch through the front of your left hip. You're not leaning back at all here. Left leg staying totally straight. Just like a mountain pose, just like a basic standing pose with good posture except we've got one leg and one arm in the air. Last 10 seconds. All right, and then release. From here we're gonna go into a squat hold, at the top of your mat. So feet about six inches apart, bring your butt straight back, squeeze your thighs toward one another, bring your arms out in front of you. And we're working on keeping the hips, weight in the hips, thighs squeezing toward one another, ribs pulling in, arms out in front, and sink down. 30 second squat hold here. Go as low as you want, just keep your back flat. Last 
10 seconds. All right, and then fold your chest to your thighs, bring your fingertips to the ground, and then lift your hips, straightening your legs until you feel a stretch through the backs of your thighs. Keep the fronts of your thighs and your abs engaged. Tuck your chin. If you want to use a block here, use a block for the assisted forward fold. And again, keeping the abs tight. So it's almost like a crunch. 10 more seconds. Half lift, pull your body forward. Press the top of your head away from your body. One more breath here. Keep your thighs engaged. And forward fold. 10 second fold here. Use your abs, really squeeze. Squeeze your thighs. Tuck the chin. And then go ahead and sit back down into a squat hold. Bring your arms out in front of you. Hold here for one breath. And stand up all the way. Bring your arms overhead into a standing back bend. About 30 seconds here. Lift your chest up, lift your sternum high. Squeeze your thighs, squeeze your hips toward one another. Bring your arms further back. Open up your chest. If you want, even turn the palms back. 20 seconds left. Keep going taller and keep going further back. All right, go ahead and release. From here, take it down to a plank. Plant the hands. 30 seconds here. Getting some good core engagement. Also, turning on your, your thighs as we do this. Take it into a quick side plank. Roll to your left, to the outside of your left foot. Reach your right arm up, lift your hips. So we're gonna work on activating the outer left thigh here. So really pressing into the outer left foot and lifting up your hips. Right arm goes up as well. A couple breaths here. If you want a little more, lift your right leg away from your left foot. All right, and then switch, point your right hand, roll to the right, coming on the outside of your right foot, lift your hips. Extend your left arm, hold here. Again, using the outside of your right leg, using your right thigh and your right hip here to stabilize, not just your arm, not just your core. Keep your hips stacked, maybe lifting the left leg a little higher. Last 10 seconds. And then plant your hands, take it down, all the way onto your chest. Lift up into a cobra. Press into the tops of your feet. Squeeze your thighs toward one another. Focus the weight in your core area. Lengthen from your toes to your head. 10 seconds. And release. Take it back into a down dog from here. Spread your fingers wide, tuck your toes, and squeeze your thighs toward your abs. 45 seconds here. Exhale to relax your heels toward the ground. So opening up your calves and your hamstrings here, focusing on engagement through your upper back and through the fronts of your thighs. Just about two more breaths left. All 
All right, take it into a deep squat. Toes facing straight forward or as straight forward as you can. Sit your butt down, lift your chest up, lean back, pull your ribs in, hold here 30 seconds. Working on hip activation, getting the weight into your hips, feeling your glutes engage, feeling your hips sink down, but maintaining control. At any minute, you should be, at any moment, you should be able to stand up without really adjusting at all. So keep tension in your muscles as you're holding. 10 more seconds. And stand up. Thanks for joining me for this workout today. Make sure you subscribe. We put out lots of videos like this on a very regular basis. And to get full access to all of my workouts, my programs, tutorials, and more, head to manfullyyoga.com. Sign up for a seven-day trial. It's just $1. Thanks again for joining me, and I'll see you on the next video.